My name is Steve Shearing. I own the Amsoil Snowcross race team. We've taken the Amsoil products to the extremes and they've delivered every single time. Last race of the season at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, one of our drivers was out in front, got rear-ended, broke the heat exchanger. We lost all our coolant the second lap of the 15-lap main event. Our driver was able to finish the race in a top five position with the motor still running. The good thing about the Amsoil products, it's so constant. You know, we have the exact same performance results time after time after time. For more than a decade, we've been winners with Amsoil. Welcome to Sledda 24-7, I'm your host Misha Johnson and we are here at Brothers Motorsports in beautiful Brainerd, Minnesota, the perfect store for all you sled heads. Now about a month ago we brought you the story of Nick Keller, a man who is determined to break the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest ride. That is 12,200 miles in only 60 days. This naturally became a fan favorite so we decided we'd catch up with our friend Nick and see how he's doing. Take a look at this. Earlier this season, Sledhead 24-7 met up with Nick Keller, the mileage man from Painesville, Minnesota, who's challenging the world record for the longest distance ridden within 60 days by snowmobile. We caught up with Nick on a Michigan trail system to see how many miles he's put on that Yamaha Vector GT. Things have been working great. Uh, machine's been holding up. Uh, at one point, uh, I was changing oil on my machine, and I uh, said, who's going to break down first, I or the sled? But We've both been holding up very well. We've been averaging over 300 miles a day. This is day 35, and I have 11,500 and some odd miles on the machine right now. About every three days, I put on more than people do in a year. So it's been working very well. Been very happy with the ride. Uh, I'm going to break the world record at 12,163 miles on Wednesday. That is my goal. Along with flirting with world records, Nick is also riding for families in need that have been affected by cancer. We're at Pat's Auto and Yamaha dealership up in Greenland. Yeah, he just happened to stop in and asked if he could put his poster up and then we started talking and, and um, I was telling him about my cancer and I was in advanced stage four in 2007 and 2008 and I'm going into my second year and I'm just going to have my second year in June where I should be cancer free for that period. Every day I get approached with people about, uh, they tell us about their cancer, the things that are going on. It's uh, very heartwarming that people come up and talk to you. Thank goodness people like him take the time out of their life to do it because it's, it's a lot of riding. He's been riding really heavy since the snow flew so I hope he meets his goal and I'm sure he will. Just the other day I did a memorial run for uh, a cancer victim that I could not go back and go to the funeral. So on my blog I said I'd run in memory of him that day. So I stayed out until about 10.30 until I had my miles out, but uh, truly enjoyed thinking about him and going through our favorite trails. Well, I'm very proud of him. Yep, and I wish him the best of luck. And, and um, it's just wonderful they take the time to do it for us. People do help people. It's just they get a channel to the right areas and to get out there and support people. There's so many people standing in the dark and have no one to turn to. So like I said, we're trying to put on a, a very small light to a big problem. And if we keep on track and keep running the numbers and if everything goes good, I should be able to reach the goal on Wednesday if we don't have any uh, difficulties and no mishaps. If anything can happen in 1,300 miles. We have people to contend with and there's uh, all kinds of obstacles on the trail. So stay tuned to Sledhead 24-7 to see if Nick and his Vector GT pull off a world record season. <laughs> 